Happy Wednesday, West Texas. A beautiful sunrise on tap as we take you outside overlooking downtown San Angelo this morning. Wake up to a little bit of cloud cover out there. We'll call it partly cloudy to mostly clear as we start your morning today. And much like yesterday, we're talking a mix of the sun and clouds and unfortunately no rain as well. You're seeing some light showers moving in across the state lines from eastern New Mexico up towards the panhandle right now. And unfortunately, all we're getting is a little bit of that cloud cover from the cloud shield as that moves off towards the north and northeast. So we'll keep things dry again today. There is a slight chance for an isolated shower, but really not looking all that promising for us over the course of the next stop uh, three to four, even six to eight hours. A closer look at home showing you some of the clouds rolling through this morning. These are mainly mid and upper level clouds, so we'll call it filtered sunshine throughout the day today with plenty of um, warmth really intact for us because we've got upper 80s forecasted across the northern big country. I think we may hover right along along that 90 degree mark, and I think we'll hit it here in San Angelo with other areas flirting with 90 91 as well. Now the warmth it's really going to kick up into high gear as we get through the next couple of days. You're going to notice the upper 80s, low 90s by the time we get into Thursday. This is running four to six degrees above where we should be for this time of year. And look at that into the weekend, upper 90s, close to that 100 degree mark in the big country. Expect much of the same for the Concho Valley as well. We'll be in the low 90s to start seven degrees above where we should be by Friday. And then we could have our first run at triple digit heat by the time we roll into Saturday and Sunday. That's between 11 and 12 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. Now, as I mentioned, an isolated shower can't be ruled out. We still got plenty of moisture out there. Southeast winds bringing in some of that Gulf of Mexico moisture for us. And you can see by around uh, one o'clock this afternoon, even the latest model runs showing eh, not much of it is is expected across parts of our area and I think this model also overdoes it just a little bit. Now as we get into tonight, I do think we'll see plenty of sunshine. Temperatures really going to hone in into those low 90s for us and then look what happens to the west see some of those more showers and thunderstorms moving in. I think it's important to note that uh, what this has done well at this particular model is keeping the showers north of Interstate 20. I just think that after sunrise, the potential here or the coverage really is going to start to diminish over time. So don't expect any widespread rain. We'll wake up tomorrow morning, partly cloudy skies. Once again, back into the upper 60s, close to that 70 degree mark. So a very warm start to the day. And then once again, we're talking the potential for an isolated shower. The fact here, a majority of us are going to stay dry. We're also keeping our eye on the tropics. Now, I want to be very, very clear. There's a lot of hype about a possible uh, tropical disturbance developing. I don't think that's the case. Too many factors working against it, but I think it's important to note that if you have any travel plans, especially this Memorial Day weekend to the Gulf, especially Florida, we're looking at this area of uh, what could be an area of low pressure eventually developing, not looking over the next couple of days for any development, but the next five, the National Hurricane Center thinks there's the medium chance for development as it heads off into the Gulf. So we'll keep an eye on this one. It does bear watching. No major concerns for us here in Texas. Partly cloudy skies today. Upper 80s is what I'm expecting. There's a slight chance of rain tomorrow. Again, 10% coverage, so not much. Then we're back in the 90s for Friday and Saturday. And again, that heat is on the way with lots of sunshine heading into your Memorial Day. Much of the same for the Concho Valley as well. 91 today, 93 tomorrow. The mid and upper 90s though, they're going to end our week. And I still think we have a good shot at hitting our triple digit, that century mark rather, as we head into Saturday and Sunday. Memorial Day, looking like a mix of the sun and clouds with temperatures in the upper 90s. So, pools open. Yeah, you better have gotten that forecast right. because. <laughs>